What is going on LEGO investors? So today we're going to talk about a tricky and tough topic where a lot of LEGO investors are experiencing a lot of problems, especially on Amazon. So full disclosure, I do not sell on Amazon. I hope to sell on there one day, but it's looking very grim right now. For quite a bit of time, I've been seeing a lot of people complain about Amazon and a lot of issues that have been coming up. So as you know, Lego, in my opinion, is a very greedy company. I know a lot of people do not agree with that because they think Le the Lego company is just God's gift to Earth. But unfortunately, when it comes down to it, they are a money-driven company. This is a premium good, and they sell premium prices. So what that means is Lego wants to essentially take money from the third secondary market, the investor market, and they want to capture as much as possible as they can. So that's why they often re-release sets and a lot of, you know, essentially hurting a lot of investors in the secondary market. But on Facebook for a while, I've been noticing a trend. I've been seeing a lot of people get ungated on Amazon. So initially when you start off on Amazon, uh, you have to get ungated to sell on there. You go through a process, an approval, you get ungated, and then you can start selling uh, essentially sets. But on Facebook, I've been seeing quite a bit of chatter, and it's been consistent. I've been noticing it every couple of months. More and more people start talking about it. And please, comment down below if you have seen this happen to somebody or if this has happened to you. I want, I want the community to be able to see this, and I want them to be aware of what's going on. So if you are selling on Amazon, there is a risk that you could end up losing your access to sell sets on Amazon. And that really hurts a lot of investors. So what's going on right now is Lego wants to capture the secondary market. And essentially, they started off at the beginning where a lot of people were getting sets on sale. And just let, let's say, hypothetically, the Disney Castle went on sale for like 250 bucks. Somebody would buy that and then they would list it on Amazon and sell it for maybe $3.99 or less than what Lego has it on, on Amazon.com. So initially, Lego is, has been working with Amazon and I'm sure there's legal aspects to it and threaten them and all that good stuff where they said, we want people, we, we want to be the only ones to sell this set because it's not in retirement. It's in full production. So they've been cracking down and preventing people from scoring those sales and essentially selling those sets on Amazon before Lego can sell their sets. So that's initially how it started off. I've seen a lot of people complain over the last few years, but now it's getting to the point where a lot of sets and it's it's starting off gradually. People are complaining that a lot of the sets that they have, they can no longer sell on Amazon. Some of them being retired, but primarily ones that are in er, available and non-retirement sets. But the concerning part of this is I've seen people say that certain retired sets they cannot sell. And it's I and this is all speculation. I want to put that out there. These are not facts. I'm just reading what people have been posting and it's been consistent. I've been seeing it quite a bit. So my, my thought is that Lego is really trying to be the only ones on Amazon.com. Now, Amazon is a third mark, third party seller app uh, website. So th they run off people selling goods, not just rate, n ordinary corporations such as Lego. But ultimately, I feel that Lego is really trying to eliminate the third-party options so they are the only ones available. And what does that mean? You would say, why would they do that? It's simple. They, When somebody searches Lego on Amazon.com, Lego wants to be the only one on Amazon.com so they get more sales in the end. And you might be saying, this is crazy. Why would they do that? It all comes down to money. So they, they initially have been targeting people that have sets that are av readily available in stores such, such as the spider-man mask like i said if they get it on sale people are really taking those awesome sales and then putting them on amazon so nobody would buy from lego.com or the lego section on amazon when you could get it cheaper from a third-party seller and score it for let's say 50 bucks however you know, these are just drastic examples, but I think you're getting the gist of it. 
So it started with that, but now it's going even further. And I truly, truly believe this is because Lego wants to be the only one on Amazon. And I think they're using the laws and I'm, I'm sure they're, you know, filing lawsuits and all that stuff to kind of eliminate third party sellers on Amazon.com. So now, yeah, that's that's just my theory on this. And you're you're probably saying why it essentially comes down to money and it you know, if you're the only one available on Amazon.com, you're going to earn a lot more money because there's just no other sets of third party sellers available. It would be a cash cow if that were to happen. So now let's say that Amazon or Lego was successful on Amazon and eliminated all third party sellers, which I think Amazon is really trying to fight it. But like I said, there's laws and they're trying to work with Lego.com. But let's say that Lego was successful. What would happen if all the third party sellers were eliminated on Amazon.com? Well, that would just flood the market. Primarily, it would flood eBay. So I'll use the Lego Carnage helmet because I love the Car Carnage helmet. It, it is going up in price, which is really, really awesome. It's nice to be seeing this set finally go for a decent price. I've been calling for this set to be 150 for a long time, and it's looking like it's gradually going up. But if all the third party sellers got, let's say, ungated on Amazon, they would be resorted, they, they would have to sell elsewhere. And really, there's not many websites that they can sell on that would dr earn them enough money like Amazon. The two sites that would be flooded with, with sets would be eBay.com and probably Mercari. Mercari is the second tier to eBay. A lot of people do both, but I think they would just get absolutely flooded. And you would see the 182 results for the Lego Carnage helmet just shoot up drastically. I, w I would bet that we would shoot up to like, you know, 250, 300 options available. And it depends. Like Star Wars sets, you would we would have thousands of sets available. And the market would just become so flooded. And as a result, it would drive down prices. And then if, if people started selling on Mercari, which some people do, some people don't, Mercari would actually benefit from this because they would get a lot more listings and a lot more options available. But you get the idea. If if one place gets closed down, other places are going to be flooded. So I sell locally locally and I do not sell online. I do hope to sell online one day when I get big enough and can really afford to take the losses that come with the online selling, but Locally, I'm sure the market would get flooded and it would hurt me too. So now the question is, do I think Lego will be successful in removing third-party sellers to where they're the only ones available on Amazon? No, I don't think so. But I think they're going to keep keep trying because and I I don't know, I would have I would have to do a lot more research to figure out what what sets are being ungated. Primarily, I figured out that it was sets that were available, but the sets that people said that were retired where they're ungated, it's just odd. And I, I'm not sure why Lego would want that. I can only see that they would want it to where they just have, when you type in Lego on Amazon, it only goes to, you know, the Lego seller, Lego, Lego store, Lego company. And I, I think that's really the only way. So... Are there going to be tough times ahead for a lot of uh, Amazon sellers and online sellers? Yes. Do I think Lego will succeed? No. But I just want you to be aware of what's going on. And I, sh I should have said this at the beginning of the video. I, I want you to be aware that if you do get ungated to sell, on Le uh, sell Lego on Amazon, that there is a potential that you will be limited in your sets that you can sell. I saw a big seller on Facebook saying that, yeah, a lot of almost half of their sets they cannot sell on Amazon for some odd reason but other sets they can sell and it's extremely it's extremely odd and extremely weird and it's all speculation and theories right now this is a speculation and theory video and I would really love to hear if somebody has been experiencing this because this would drastically change the the market so as you know in a lot of my videos I bought I try to buy a hundred of the popular sets such as the helmet Star Wars helmet line and I buy that so I can sell locally but in the future sell a lot of them on Amazon.com but if I'm not able to sell those I will take a big hit on this I I would struggle very very hard 
because I just wouldn't recoup my costs and I, losses and I would just have to sell them for cheaper locally. Now I I do hope laws are passed by, you know, the government where, you know, you can resell sets later on and you can't be like dictated by a company with lawsuits and all that good stuff that like Lego is doing in my opinion. But until that time comes, we're we're going to be at the will of Amazon and how they proceed forward. Do they want to lose Lego as a customer? No, but do they want to make them happy and follow the laws? Yes, and I think that's why Amazon is cracking down on a lot of these sets. And I don't think it's coming from Amazon side where they're like, oh, let's just choose these random sets. I think Lego is filing lawsuits and hitting them with orders saying this set cannot be sold by third-party sellers. It can only be sold by Lego directly. Which again, I think equates to money in the end. I think this is why this is happening. Now this is, you know, this might... Th I hope I'm being clear on this. It, it might be a little confusing, and I, I really hope somebody has seen this because I'm a part of a lot of Facebook groups, and I just see it. I, I just see it. at least once a month somebody complains like they were able to sell, and then boom, they got ungated on specific sets, but other sets they are able to sell. And there's no rhyme or reason right now, so it's more of a speculation and thought and, a, and opinion that it's coming directly from the Lego company because they want that money. And let's face it, they, they, they're like Target. Target hates third-party sellers. No matter what, they are so anti-third-party seller, it's absolutely insane. And Lego wants to capture part of that third-party market because there's just so much money moving on the outside that they're not getting. And that's why we see sets released over and over again. Lego could easily re-release a set or release a new set that has never been released before, but they look at this, uh, the third party market, the secondary market, and they see these sets selling for a lot of money. Like let's say the Carnage Helmet, let's say this starts hitting 150. In two years, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if another Carnage movie came out and then they re-release the Carnage Helmet. So that they just know that they're entering a market that is is in demand and people are earning some money so they want to capture that so i appreciate you watching but please be aware that things are not always guaranteed when when reselling there's a lot of risks involved you could go hardcore on a ton of sets spend a a ton of money and then try to sell on amazon and not be able to you might be able to say let's sell you it, it could be completely random. You might be able to sell the Venom helmet, but then the Carnage, you won't be able to. And no one would answer the, answer why you can do that. It's it's all back backdoor stuff between corporations that really doesn't get released. So you kind of have to have these conspiracy videos. And I'm seeing it so much on Amazon that or uh, Facebook that I, I had to make a video. And I want, I want the newbies to be aware that it's not all making a ton of money in Lambos and just, you know, Lego reselling is just making everyone bank. It's a tough business. And it's even tougher because you've got things like this going on where it's really hurting a ton of people that they can't sell their sets. I don't know where those people are going now. I should probably send them messages and ask them what their game plan is just so I can, you know, get some hard proof and find out, you know, are they going to Mercari and eBay or the, are they planning to sell locally? There are a ton of more investors w investing in Lego and the competition is tough and it's not easy to earn money. And I want everyone to be aware of just what could happen. One day you could sell on Amazon and then the next you, you might not be able to. I see people get banned all the time and I'm probably going to make a dedicated video on the banning it just it happens and i really really want the new people to be aware of this because you're spending your hard earned money on really a in my opinion a gambling investment so anyways i really hope you enjoyed this video and i i hope you comment and you know give your thoughts and opinions do you know anyone that this has happened to has it happened to you and if not do you i want to hear your theory on all of this so Thanks for watching, but as always, please do your own research, have some fun, make some money.
video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.